I feel that fishermen are kind of photographers. I fish for light, they fish for food. So they have to wait, they have to be patient, they have to go there every day not knowing what they're going to get as a result. I really like to tell their stories because uh, they take their sustenance out of the water. It's a very hard job. I come from a country of fishermen and salesmen, so we are truly connected to the ocean. Myself, I was almost born inside a boat, so I feel that connection. This 600-year-old tradition, I didn't know in 2006, but was about to become eventually dead because tourism in China increased exponentially. So there became more people that post for photos than they fish because they earn more money from that. And so suddenly a community started to go away, fade away. And so during those uh, constant visits to these fishermen specifically, I started to witness their reality changing. And that's actually what brought me to this latest work. As photographers, we have this responsibility of telling stories, but we never know what's going to happen afterwards. So this latest trip uh, was all about two things. Uh, one, compare what would I get with a 350D and uh, with a 5D Mark IV. So more than a decade worth of improvement in sensor technology and processing technology and lens technology as well. But the other side, the more personal side of it, if you will, would be to get in touch with these two brothers. One was 91 and still is, and that one 93. So they are the last bastion of this culture, of this tradition. When they pass away, maybe you only see like touristic puppets, so to say. So I wanted to meet these brothers again, which I knew from 2006, and tell their stories in a proper way. So not only those amazing shots with the, with the mountains like before, uh, I wanted to go more low light into the night, so get this a different mood about their realities because they go fish in the night, not in the you know sunset, sunrise. They go before that or after that. I had just standard entry level lenses in 2006, so I now I was using 5D Mark IV and a, a bunch of L lenses. So, what can I do with this creatively? The ISOs, the exposure. How long could I take a shot handheld? And some of them I was actually on a raft. I had to use wide apertures, I had to push ISOs sometimes to 3200, 6400, so really high ISOs. And the other side is dynamic range. You know, with this camera and these lenses, it's really a huge step over what I could do before. As a storyteller, you want to tell a story. So it's like writing a book. A book is not supposed to be you know, stay at home inside uh, the desk. So photo is meant to be shared because it's knowledge, it's uh, something you can touch people with. You know, a picture is uh, worth so much to people and we forgot about that because we just see it as a, a flicking thing, but it can be physical. You can touch it, you can cherish the photo, you can show it to your family, you can put it as the strongest memory of your time here on Earth. So I think that's very powerful.